Hey, first graders, Mr. Cunningham here. So I want to talk to you a little bit about our writing this week. So remember, this week we are really focused on the revise part of the writing process. So this revise part here, remember, is what we're doing to make our writing better, make it more interesting, make our readers enjoy it more. So as we look through our steps, what's interesting is that yesterday I've been had the chance to meet with some kiddos. And so we remember that we pre-wrote, we came up with ideas, we drafted, and now we're revising. And this was our first list of things that we thought we could do to make our writing better. So we said we could add important details, super cool. We could add speech, either a speech bubble or some dialogue. We could describe things. We could give better descriptive language. We could add action. And this line right here is to remind me of how like Mo Willems does that. And then we could be exact in language. But yesterday I was in a, in a uh, writing group and a kid was talking about, um, doing something that was scary for them. It's kind of weird because it was before I'd read the scared book, but whatever it was. And we were talking about how they weren't really saying anything, but they were thinking something. And it dawned on me, hey, friends, we haven't talked about adding in a thinking bubble. Maybe just like in our elephant and piggy books, when we're adding some important details, when we're revising, we might add in a thought bubble. We might add in, how is someone thinking? Or the other thing we might add, how is someone thinking? And the other thing we talked about with a group yesterday, let's see if I can get room on the page to do both things. Thinking, we also talked about telling us how the character is, I'm just going to write the one word because how is, how the character is feeling. So maybe in your story, you could go back in and add how you or someone else was feeling worth what they were thinking at the time. Today, what I want you to do, first graders, is I want you to look at an older piece of writing. Please remember, we are revising. We are improving older pieces of writing. And what I would love you to do today is I would love you to add a space where you can show someone's thinking, or you can use your writing and describe how someone is feeling during a part of your story. So today, friends, you're going to revise, make better, an old piece by adding in someone's thinking or how they're feeling. Go on out there. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, first graders.